Welcome guys! In this video, I will show you how to create a coloring book that can earn up to thousands of dollars each month on Amazon. If you are new to my channel, my goal is to teach you how to make money from Amazon KDP as one of the best ways to earn passive income. We will go over everything you need to know from zero to sale. If you are interested in these types of videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to receive a notification as soon as I publish new videos for this series. Coloring books are popular on Amazon and sell extremely well. Open the Amazon website and search for the type of book you want to create. In this case, coloring books. Look for the books with the lowest bestseller rank on the first page. This should be the best one. As you can see, this book bestseller rank is 24, which is amazing. This is the lowest KDP book that I have ever seen. This book price is 771 with more than 12,000 reviews. Without calculating the profit, it's obvious this book is selling tens of thousands in each month. Let's see how many pages this book has. As you can see, this book has 24 pages. Now we can estimate this Amazon KDP book sale in TCK website. You can find the link to this website in the description. Okay, open the website. Now you just need to enter the bestseller rank here and select the type which is book. This book is selling 21,100 each month. So now that we know the number of sale, we should see how much profit is each sale. For calculating the profit of each book, I use a simple Amazon spreadsheet. You can find the link to this spreadsheet in the description. Just select the black ink and enter the number of pages, which is 24 here, and 771 as the price of the book. As you can see, this book is earning $2.48 per sale. For calculating the total profit, we just need to multiply each book profit to the number of sales per month. This book is selling more than $50,000 each month. Now that we have an idea about coloring book amazing sale, as I promised, I will teach you how to create similar coloring books. You can create coloring books with almost all the graphic softwares. In this video, I will use a software that you can use for free to create a coloring book. I use Google Slides for creating the coloring books. Google Slides is like PowerPoint, but it's totally free and you don't need to pay anything to use it. Okay, the most important part of a coloring book is the idea and the graphics that you are using. Let's start. Open the Google Slide website. From the menu file, select the create a new presentation. First, you should change the page dimension. From the file menu, select the page setup and select the custom. Change the type to inch and set the size to 8.5 by 11. Remove all the placeholders from the page. Okay, now we have a blank page. Let's add the border first. From the insert menu, click on the shapes and select the rectangle. Now just drag it to fill the page. Great. Now we just need to make the background transparent. Click on the background color and select transparent. Okay, we need to make the border a little thicker. I think four pixel is good. Now that we have a border, we need a pattern for the background. For this background, I will use Pixabay. Okay, just open the Pixabay website and select the illustration and search for Doodle. Let's see what we can find. I'm looking for a cute image for a kid coloring book. Remember that you should always check the license of the image that you are using in your coloring book. Okay, I think this one is perfect. Just click on the image, double check the license of the image, and at the end, click on the free download and select the suitable dimension. I think 1920 by 1920 is good enough for us. Okay, now just drag the image to a slide. Now that we have the pattern, we need to align and resize it to fill the page. Always try to resize the page from the corners to make sure you don't deform the image. C 
Since we are creating the color in books, we need to remove the colors. Removing the colors in Google Slide is very easy. Just select the image again, go to Format option and select the Recolor and choose the light font. Then go to Alignment and play with the contrast to remove the gray colors. I think it's good now. Next step is changing the order of elements and sending this pattern behind the border. Great, next step would be cropping the image to match the border. Select the image, then choose the crop from here and crop the parts that are outside the border. Last thing that we need to add to this page is a quote. First, we need a container for it. I think the cloud would be great. Just from the shape, select the cloud. I will add it to the center of the page. Now that we have the container, let's just make the background white, okay? Now that we have the container, we need a code. Pinterest is the best place for finding codes. Open the Pinterest and search for the kids' codes. I'm, I'm looking for a good one. Awesome, awesome. I think these are great. I can use them for a couple of pages. Okay, now that we have the codes, just select a good font that match the design. I think this font is perfect. This slide is complete and we can use it later. Let's create one more, but this time use a much better resource. I always use Creative Fabrica for my design. It's not free, but you have access to lots of amazing designs. You find the link to this website in the description. Open the Creative Fabrica and just search for what you are looking for. Since I'm looking for a doodle for my coloring book, let's search here. Let's filter the graphics and patterns. Okay, I think this one is good for my book. Just remember always Combine design to create a new design. That way you can make sure you are not uploading duplicate books on Amazon. Great. As you can see, it will give us 12 seamless patterns that we can easily use for 12 pages. I think this one is perfect for our next page. Just drag it to the new slide and the rest would be the same as the previous slide. Since these designs are seamless, you can put them together and fill the page. As you can see, this pattern has a lot more character and it looks more professional than the previous one. Now that we have the page and pattern, we just need to add another placeholder for the text and use one of the quotes that we find in the Pinterest here. That's it. We just create two pages of coloring book. As you remember, the book that we review had 24 pages, which means 24 different coloring pages like the ones that we create. As you can see, the only challenge for us was the background patterns. You can use a free resource like Pixabay or a premium bonds from Creative Fabrica or VecTZ. You can find the link to all of them in the description. Thanks for watching until here. I hope this video was useful for you. In the next video, I will show you keyboard research for coloring books. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to receive a notification as soon as I publish new videos of this series. 
let me know what you think about KDP in the comment section. Also, if you have any question, post it there. I will try to answer all of your questions.